23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The Kern County Fair Board of Directors are working to ensure the safety of everyone at the fair this year. Officials say they are installing metal detectors at all of the primary entrances. 25,000 people to pass through its gates. Officials advise fairgoers allow enough time to go through security before entering the grounds. The Delano Mosquito Abatement District will be conducting an ultra low volume fogging in Delano tomorrow night. Officials confirming that the fogging will affect around 70 homes in the Terrace Drive neighborhood. According to the district, the fogging will specifically take place on the street and any back alleys nearby around 11 p.m. Officials advise staying inside with your pets at the time of the fogging. The district said it detected an increased number of mosquitoes in that area. Last week, officials said the total number of human West Nile cases in Kern County up to three for the year. If you're looking for a way to give back and feed those in need, the mission at Kern County is encouraging people to adopt a meal. The adopt a meal program provides the opportunity to help in the kitchen and serving those in need. The cost to adopt a meal ranges from $400 to $650. You can also pay and sponsor a portion of the meal and the mission will provide the rest. The menu includes meals such as spaghetti, enchiladas and herb baked chicken. Tropical moisture continues to make its way into the region through Thursday. We are going to be seeing the chance for isolated thunderstorms across the county tomorrow. So 10% chance for us here in Bakersfield. It looks like the best chance is really going to be in the Tehachapi Mountains, Lake Isabella, as well as in our desert cities. But then we are going to be clearing out and cooling down as we head into the weekend near seasonal with a high of 93 degrees on Saturday, 84 on Sunday. And that's going to be continuing through at least next Wednesday. We haven't felt temperatures in the 80s since late June. That's your latest news and weather. You can find the top stories anytime at turn to 23.com. Good night.